going to learn a magical thing about numbers. Can you think anything about numbers? No. Everything in our life, everything, all the things around us comes in numbers. Say, how many fingers can you see? Yeah, you can, I have five fingers on this hand. Can you, how many fingers can you see? In this hand also, we have five fingers. So in the same way, anything or everything around us comes into numbers. Say, I have two eyes, I have one nose. So anything and everything comes into numbers. So in your previous class, you must have learned numbers up to 100, isn't it? You have learned how to write 1 to 100 in words. You have learned how to recognize a smaller number, a bigger number or what to write, what comes in between as well. As well. But here in this class, I am going to teach you the concept of ones and tens. So let's do it. Can you see the board? Can you see the board properly? So I have written three numbers, one to ten. So let me read it for you. One, two, three, four. Now I have a lot of lollipops here. 
Can I count now? Can you count them? Wow, everybody loves so many lollipops, isn't it? So right now, let me check how many lollipops I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lollipops. How many lollipops you see? There are nine lollipops. So nine lollipops means how many one lollipops I have? Yeah, how many ones I have? I have nine ones. Nine lollipops, nine ones. Children, I have, can you count these number now? Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So how many lollipops I have? I have ten lollipops. So how many ones make ten lollipops? Yes, ten ones. One, 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 ones, ones, ones. So how many times I said ones? I said I counted ones ten times. So how many ones I have? Ten ones. But children, do you know that that ten ones is called one ten? That means it's a bundle of one ten. Let's make a bundle of ten. Let's make a bundle of ten. Can you see? This is an ice cream stick. Let's make a bundle of ten sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is a bundle of of 10 sticks. Let's make a bundle of 10 dairy milk or 10 chocolates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, That means I have one tenth of chocolate. So I told you earlier that ten ones is equal to one tenth. So this is a bundle of ten chocolates. Let's make a bundle of ten pencils. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I put them together, this is a bundle of ten pencils together. That means we have one bundle of ten pencils. Once again, let's make a bundle of ten lollipops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So how many lollipops I have? I have ten more lollipops. But how many bundles I have? I have one bundle of ten lollipops. Let's make a bundle of 10 crayons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I made a bundle of 10 crayons. That means I have one bundle of 10 crayons. So that means 
how many tens I have? I have one tens of crayons. So children, when you have so many things together, if you have put so many things together, when you are counting, आपको हर नंबर एक एक करके काउंट करना पड़ेगा तो आपको इसके लिए बहुत टाइम लगेगा है कि नहीं तो आप क्या कर सकते हैं आप इन्हीं चीजों को या सिमिलर चीजों को आप एक दस के बंडल में बांध लीजिए ठीक है जैसे मैंने एक क्रेउंस का एक बंडल लिया दस का लॉलीपॉप आई हैव वन बंडल ऑफ टेन लॉलीपॉप आई हैव One bundle of ten pencils, and I have one bundle of chocolates. Ten chocolates. Again, I have one bundle of ten ice cream sticks. So, children, can you tell me how many things I have here in total? So, you don't have to. When you know ones and tens. then you don't have to know you don't have to count all the numbers uh, by counting every single number only you need to count the total number of tens so one tens means 10 two tens means 20 so here we have 20 things In the same manner three bundles means i have 30 things now i join pencils again so how many pencils i have one bundle of 10 pencils so i have how many bundles right now 1 2 3 4 10 pencils one bundle 10 one bundle of lollipop 10 20 one bundle of Crayons, ten, thirty, one bundle of chocolates. So I have forty things here. Now, if I have last, finally, I am going to put one bundle of ice cream sticks. So in total, how many things I have? I have ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 50 so is it is very easy to count the numbers if you sort all the numbers in tens and ones let's count the tens and ones you see the board here yes what do you see in the board the lots of apples here okay so let me I'll show you How many apples here we have? I have only one apple. One apple means you have to write the number one, and when you are writing in one, so you have to. That means this is one ones. Next one, I have how many apples I have? One, two. I wrote two. Two means two ones. Again, let us count how many apples here. One, two, three, four, five. How many apples I counted? Five apples. Five is equal to five. That means five ones. So here I have lots of apples now. Let us count how many apples I have. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine apples. Nine apples. I wrote, wrote nine. And how many it is in ones? How many ones I have? I have nine ones. How many apples can you see on the board? Yes. Let us count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So how many apples do I have on the board? I have 
10 apples. 10 apples, I wrote 1, 0, 10. And 10 means 1, 10. As I already told you, 10 means 10 ones. But we do not write 10 ones. We write it as 1, 10. 10 means 1, 10. If it is a bundle of one similar thing, it is 1, 10. So students, now I hope all of you know what is a group of 10 called? In my next video, we are going to learn how to make groups of 10 and write the numbers. See you all in my next class. Till then, bye-bye.